I've been reading a number of serious things lately, so I thought I'd lighten the mood with something different. The following is an incomplete list of things Dr. Bright is not allowed to do at the SCP Foundation. Part 1, items 1 through 50. Note, any of these items can be changed at any time. 1. Dr. Bright is not allowed to feed anything with peanut butter to Dr. Kane. 2. Telling new researchers that you can tame SCP-682 with a rolled-up newspaper and tummy rub is right out. 3. You are no longer allowed to challenge Abel to unwinnable games like tic-tac-toe. It was three weeks before Abel conceded to a draw. 4. SCP-018 is not to be taunted. 5. Giving SCP-113 to Diogenes is just plain pointless. 6. Attempting to disprove SCP-343-2343 is a horrible idea. Agents are still studying the resulting vaporweight, supposedly so heavy that 343 should not be able to lift it. 7. While it's true that no one expects the SCP Inquisition, that's only because no such thing exists. 8. Dr. Bright is not the king of anywhere. Or queen. 9. SCP-963 is not to be used for recreational or procreational purposes. 10. Although it is entirely possible to use SCPs currently under control in the Foundation to create tentacle monsters, no. Subnote 1, not even if Dr. Palmer asks nicely. 11. There is no market for SCP brand pornography. Subnote 1, no, not even in Germany. Subnote 2, it probably would generate a great deal of revenue if sold in Japan, but still, 682 on, redacted name, Jesus Christ Man. 12, should not replace the buckshot in Dr. Clef's shotgun shells with any of the following, birdseed, confetti, cake sprinkles, sawdust, or sexual lubricant. 13, should not replace Dr. Wright's lamp with a novelty lamp shaped like a marital aid. Subnote 1. Should not replace Dr. Wright's marital aids with a novelty aid shaped like a lamp. 14. The Better Business Bureau is not the correct agency for dealing with containment failures from horrible eldritch artifacts sold by Marshall, Carter, and Dark. 15. Dr. Bright must never come into contact with anyone under the age of 18. Note that has been removed. Let him contact them. It's the only way they'll learn. Continuing, just because it's a learning experience does not mean anyone needs to come into contact with Dr. Bright. 16. Any requests by Dr. Bright to utilize SCP-212 for enhancement are to be denied, due to several requests being submitted with the research goal stated as, to stick my privates in it and hope for the best. Subnote 1, this includes requests to use it for enhancement of other organs. I don't care how awesome you think it would be, Bright, you are not allowed to have telekinesis. 17. Victims of SCP-217 are not toys. 18. Dr. Bright is not allowed to bargain with personnel for their souls if they are unaware of SCP-158. 19. Don't let Dr. Bright get a sample of SCP-379. Let my laptop be the last victim. 20. Not allowed to go off my medication. Subnote 1. Not allowed to pretend I have any medication to be on. 21. May not use any form of the word accident as an excuse. 22. Violate the dress code, even on casual Fridays. Subnote 1. No matter how many times you say please, Dr. Bright, we won't put any of the hats you've been asking about into the dress code. Subnote 2. Nor are you allowed to create and wear hats using or made out of various anomalous objects. We understand that your SCP-894 top hat collection has some tactical value, but it is not a valid reason to wear them in the presence of other researchers. 23. If an SCP file says never to do something, it's not because we want to control your mind. The following has been crossed out. Yes, it is. Subnote 1. No, it's not, and Dr. Bright may not edit this document. 
24. SCP-347 is not to be handed out as weaponry to unsuspecting new researchers. 25. Data redacted by O5 Councilman request. Not even for recreational use. 26. Not allowed to send Nigerian-esque spam mail to the Church of the Broken God. 27. Not allowed to lead a mobile task force, and the following has been crossed out. Against the UIU, under any circumstances, without inviting Dr. Clef. Remaining note says, at all. In fact, just stay 500 feet from any mobile task forces at all times. 28. Not allowed to end reports with lyrics from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Subnote 1, but is allowed to end with lyrics from the Safety Dance. Subnote 2, the interpretive dance routine, however, is forbidden. Crossed out until he gets lessons. Remaining, for the foreseeable future. 29. Dr. Bright is not allowed anywhere near a Renaissance Festival. Subnote 1, especially not with D-Class in garb. 30. SCP-963 is not a joy buzzer. 31. If a mind control SCP is discovered, it is to be turned over to the proper authorities. It's not to be used to advance himself or other higher in the Foundation. Kondraki. Subnote 1. Taking said mind control to SCP to a strip club or Vegas shall be right out. Subnote 2. Dr. Bright is not the following. A superhero of any sort... Head of Public Relations, in charge of orientation for new staff, a doctor of psychology. The following has been crossed out. A member of Site Command. Remaining. Made out of bacon, in possession of an IQ over 300, head of SCP review, or a member of the maintenance staff. Sorry, boys. Dr. Bright is actually a member of Site Command. It's usually best not to ask why. It's O5 Command that you're thinking of. 32. There is no ethics committee. Subnote 1. And even if there was, does anyone believe Dr. Bright would be on it? Subnote 2. As anything other than a what not to do. 33. Not allowed to make up the Jodies for morning calisthenics. Subnote 1. Yes, this includes the Mickey Mouse Club song. 34. Dr. Bright is not allowed to apply SCP-963 to any major political figures... Again. 35. Dr. Bright is not from an alternate timeline. Subnote 1. Dr. Bright cannot order issues to preserve the timeline. Subnote 2. Or to corrupt the timeline. Subnote 3. Or to screw with those history nerds. 36. Dr. Bright is not allowed to challenge anyone to a duel and then give them SCP-572. 37. Dr. Bright is not allowed near SCP-5555-J in any way or excuse. Remember what the miniature vision did to Dr. L. 38. Dr. Clef and Dr. Bright are not allowed to interact without the presence of a responsible administrator. Subnote 1. Dr. Kondraki does not count as a responsible administrator. Subnote 2. Nor does Agent Strelnikov. Subnote 3, or Dr. Man. Subnote 4, in fact, let's just keep the two apart, period. 39, chainsaws are not the solution to every question. Subnote 1, nor is more chainsaws. Subnote 2, or chainsaw cannons. Subnote, subnote 1, except that one time, and yes, it was awesome. 40, SCP speed dating never occurred, and anyone who claims to remember such an event should report to Site Command for administration of a Class A amnesiac. 41. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use any SCP to alter or affect the outcome of any reality-based television shows, including, but not limited to, Survivor, Big Brother, Hell's Kitchen, American Idol, or any dating show on VH1. Subnote 1, not even if Dr. Wrights asks nicely. 42, redacted, comma, redacted hard. 43, Dr. Bright is not allowed to administer spankings to Dr. Wrights as punishment. 
It only causes more rules to be broken. Subnote 1. No, it doesn't matter if they're both consenting adults, no matter how much of them argue otherwise. Subnote 2. Dr. Wrights is not allowed to spank the monkey. Subnote 3. Nor is she allowed to shock the monkey. Subnote 4. Or anything related to the monkey. 44. Dr. Bright is not allowed to use SCP, number removed, to make kick me signs again. 45. SCP-082 is not to be given song requests, especially not like a virgin. 46. Accidentally spilling green gelatin on a dead body in the presence of the O5 councilman was funny exactly once, and the smell of excrement extruding from O5 member 2's khakis spoiled the moment. 47. Dr. Bright is no longer to utter the phrase more than a thousand babies in the presence of any SCP personnel. 48. Nothing in the Foundation is rated over 9,000. 49. Stop posting classified information on 4chan. 50. No using SCP-705 for personal gain. Subnote 1. Or to plant monitoring equipment. Subnote 2. And absolutely no giving them tons of Play-Doh just to see what they can make. That mech was damned annoying. Part 2 will come shortly. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.